<laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to show you guys how i style and curl my malaysian body wave hair from desire hair okay so i was sent two bundles of 22 inches one bundle of 18 and one bundle of 16 and every single last ounce of that was sewn onto a 3 4 wig and i placed it onto my hair my actual hair with the uh, um the clips that he used to make clipping extensions um if you guys want to see that whole three fourth wig making process please let me know and i'll definitely do it for a future video but youtube is swarmed with tons of them um so um right now i'm just spraying my hair with some water and some conditioner because i'm gonna proceed to blow dry it because i want it um, as straight as it can possibly get um so yeah, so the blow dryer that I'm going to be using is my trusty old yellow bird blow dryer with the concentrated nozzle and I'm going to be using a flat paddle brush to blow dry that. Once the blow drying is all done, I'm going to begin the styling process. So um, basically how I style or cut my hair when it's really, really long. I like it to frame my face. As you can see, the front of my hair is, is shorter because that's where I had bangs and all that good stuff. So I wanted to lay and I wanted to frame my face. So I'm going to section the front part of my section off. Um, and I'm just going to begin putting light, light layers um, in the front of my hair and I'm using a razor to do that. Um, I got it from the beauty supply store. You definitely can find it um, there. So I'm trying to make it um, blend as much as possible because I did leave a nice amount of leave out in. I'm just not in the business of trying to conceal tracks or anything like that. So I leave as much hair out as possible without it being too much hair. Um, I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm very self-conscious when I'm wearing a weave <laughs> that like the wind is going to blow and my tracks are going to be exposed. So therefore, I leave more hair out than, you know, most people do. But you have to find that method that works for you. So here, like I said, I'm just, you know, framing my face and uh, light layers, light layers in the front. Um, I do get a bit scissor happy and I'm trying not to do that <laughs> here because I would just go. That's what, you know, if you use a straight razor, um, it's a lot easier to not go scissor happy. If you use scissors, it's like one cut and it's just, you're done. So, you know, always cut less because you can always go back and cut more. But I always cut more just in general. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing now. This whole process is just it'll never be perfect so don't try to be perfect um i'm not a professional hairstylist or anything like that i just know how i like my hair to look um and i told you guys this in previous videos that you know stop paying other people to do your hair do your own learn to do your own hair if you're able to it'll save you tons of money it'll save you that headache of getting home and your hair is totally not what you expected it to be like your vision is just totally off so just learn to do your own hair so um I'm continuous to um, add layers, just soft little layers in the front. I wanted to gradually get longer. Um, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs>
Okay, so after I'm done styling my hair, cutting my hair, whatever, um, I'm going to begin curling my hair and I'm going to be using an old, when I say this is old, this is an old school curling iron that I took the clamp off of it. Like you can see like the seared parts, like this has been through hell. Um, <laughs> and I believe it's about a half an inch thick. So if you have a curling wand, you can use a curling wand, but you can also use a curling iron. You can just take that clamp off and, you know, be resourceful. Okay, to give you guys a bit more details about the hair, okay, so like I mentioned previously this is Malaysian body wave and the Malaysian hair actually comes in this reddish brown color so um, if you're familiar with package hair think like a color two number two but like slightly more reddish um, and obviously that's not the color of my hair my hair is uh, more of like a dark brown or natural black um, so I had to take the 16 inch whatever the top section was and I had to dye that in a natural black color um, and actually gives it like some type of a ombre effect which is, is kind of cool um, it takes a curl very well um, this style actually lasted for a, a couple of days a lot of days I should say pretty like a week it lasted for about a week um, eventually the curls will turn more into a wave which is cool um, tangling doesn't tangle that much shedding it doesn't shed that much so everything like that is minimal um, as far as blending I didn't have any issues with blending the hair is not too shiny it's not too silky or anything like that so it matches black afro texture um, pretty well um, when your hair not in its natural state but when it's obviously when it's been blow dried and flat ironed and stuff that matches pretty well um, so yeah definitely check the description box for um, all the information about the hair where to purchase it and all that good stuff um, if you guys have any questions please let me know Okay, so I want the front of my hair to have like a feathered effect. So I'm going to take my Amica flat iron and I'm going to um, curl that part and then I'm going to secure it with a, um, a clip. And then you're going to curl going backwards. If that makes any sense. You'll see what I'm doing. Then secure with a clip. You know, take it, curl going backwards. Like that. And secure with the clip. Thank you guys so much for watching. This completes the video. If you have any questions, please let me know. And you guys know the deal. Until next time, peace and dopeness.